You see right here? It says Chile. I just landed in Santiago, Chile. We're gonna bust out a video showing how cool this airport is. I've been here a few times. It's pretty sweet. Retail Nomad, Santiago, Chile, South America. The Retail Nomad, traveling the globe, sharing what the retail environment is like, hidden corners of the world. And I arrived into Santiago via the International Terminal, flying from Argentina. And here, uh, 10 steps beyond the customs uh, clearance, you find the Santiago Duty Free store location with all the goods, all the, the liquor, the perfumes, and all the tax-free items. And what are the odds, after a 16-hour layover crashing at the airport hotel, I roll back in the very next morning to catch my 13-hour flight to Europe, and I roll into the Costa Rican brand of Brit Cafe and Bakery. This is the one I highlighted back in uh, about five months ago on a video in Costa Rica. It's amazing to think that a small coffee farm in Costa Rica now is one of the larger retailers in Latin America with these such products here. Here they are advertising travel to see Taylor Swift performing in Buenos Aires where I just was last month. And for me personally, it's wild to see these Cafe Brit shops scattered around South America these days. So I understand they're in approximately 20 countries throughout Latin America. It is uh, originating you know, 10 years plus uh, in my past. Every time I would leave Costa Rica, I would scoop up some goods at the San Jose or the Liberia airport when I was traveling inbound into the U.S. to pick up some, uh, some gifts or products for clients, friends, family. A perfect example is right here. These flavors of the world are these small little bags of you know, exotic fruits wrapped with chocolate that are absolutely delicious. They're just, they're stellar. And then they offer some, you know, local cultural items. As you see here, some wines or some, some type of lo local variety of products, uh, you know, or handmade items. And then over to some larger uh, bags of chocolates and goods like of this nature. That's just, you know, it's something for everyone and they're absolutely delicious. So get a chance, try out Cafe Brit. And here I strolled over to the candy section where they've got their, you know, great looking packaging and design. They got the peg hooks wall system here. Everything from your passion fruit, the guava, the pineapple, the coconut covered in chocolate. And then on over to your coffee section, everything from whole bean ground, light roast, dark roast, organics. You got a yeah, selection for any type of a, a coffee connoisseur. And here you see Chili Gourmet which is organized and run by the Dufry store group. As I was uh, very impressed with this uh, store layout design, as you see these you know, four-way merchandisers, you know, floor stand, um, uh, millwork packages, combinations of uh, you know, high-end metal uh, combined with uh, nice wood grain solutions you know, for merchandising techniques. The perimeter wall system millwork uh, uh, cabinetry will look fantastic. Nice looking store here. And here I am cruising in what's called Casa Chili. And I will state and clarify that I had no idea that uh, a good portion of these retail stores at this airport were managed by, you know, a division of the family of brands Cafe Bread or Morpho Retail uh, or duty-free stores. As it's interesting to see a lot of similar techniques, product mixes, styles. Here you can see some liquor options and, and so forth. Here I am bouncing into what's called Artesanias de Chile. It's all these local handmade products from wood carvings to textiles to shirts to fabrics to all kinds of coolness in here. And then I found this trippy little map back here on this wall and it shows what kind of local products are made in all the various regions of Chile. I loved it. And here I found what's called La Cava del Vino, which in English would mean the cave of the wine or the wine cave, as this was a very nice, high-end, luxurious-looking, you know, wine shop, liquor shop, if you will. You know, here in Chile, they've got their Pisco Sours and so forth, and they're also equally as known for their dark red wines as uh, what you recall from last week in Argentina, as it ties in nicely with the dark aesthetics of the, uh, of the millwork fixturing here, so... Very nice store. And here's a very cool design of Salar de Sol. Is the design motif here was uh, to get the outbound passengers to remember the desert landscapes and the amazing sunsets to the west here in Chile. And here I am signing off this week from Santiago Airport in Chile. 
You see behind me, it says Salar de Sol. This is a store location, which is part of the Brit family, managed and operated by Morpho Travel. And uh, I don't know if you recall, but uh, about five months ago, I did a video on Cafe Brit, headquartered in Costa Rica. They started their division called Morpho Travel years ago. You got them all over Latin America, all the goods, goodies, sweets, drinks, water, shirts, memorabilia, hats. I even picked up this hat here, says Chile on it today. Pretty cool, eh? Salar de Sol, Santiago, Chile, the retail nomad is out. Jump on a flight now to Madrid, Spain. Thanks for tagging along. Stay tuned to the Retail Nomad, as each week we'll be profiling different types of shopping experiences around the world. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Ciao.